hello everybody and welcome once again so we will be continuing with the problems of solving uh, solving the problems of projections of planes we had solved three problems before the break and now we are going to solve another say three or four problems as time uh, one hour permits us uh, as you can see my name i am yash chavla from parul institute of engineering and technology so introduction apart let's uh, start to solve the problem the next that is the fourth example for today a regular pentagonal plate of 50 mm side has one of its corner on hp uh, the plane of pentagon is inclined to 30 degrees to hp the side of the pentagon which is opposite to the corner which is to hp is inclined to 45 degrees to uh, vp draw its projections now actually what is happening is see we have a pentagonal plate now first it says that one of its corner uh, this corner say is in hp so we can say that this is the thing so this is in hp now this is how it will look now uh, what next we have to do is that it has to make an angle uh, with hp so we will start making an angle with hp now the next thing that we have to do is that this side this has to make an angle of 45 degrees to what to vp so this is it will start moving in this manner so this is the final shape that you will have because this side this side is making an angle of 45 degrees with what with the vertical so this is what will happen we'll see the front view and the top view so okay now you are zooming out here so it is there on hp now what i am going to do is the uh, this this point will is in hp so i'll keep the, it this way now what is going to happen we are going to make an angle of uh, say uh, how much it is 30 degrees to hp so let's make an angle of 30 degrees to hp here i have made an angle of 30 degrees to hp the bigger screen shows you to, uh, the top view and the smaller screen shows you the front view now the side this side has to make this side has to make an angle of 45 degrees to what to vp so i am going to make it this way this is 45 degrees this angle this angle till here is 45 degrees and it is this way so the scene that you see in the uh, this smaller window that is there yes so that is your final figure which is there in the smaller screen okay let's now draw the problem the first thing that we always do is we draw the line xy i am not writing the given data because if i write the given data i get less space to draw so given data we'll just discuss it off and we're drawing the whole figure okay this is line x y uh, y next thing that we'll do is we'll first draw the pentagon how we will draw the pentagon the pentagon has to be that one point has to be in this way so the pentagon will come something of this sort so first the pentagonal plate is 50 mm in side so i'll start drawing the base here because the pointed end has a base and which is exactly opposite to it so here i'll what i'll do is to make the figure smaller i will take a scale one is to uh, two or yeah one is to two where this is the uh, question and this is the drawing so i am going to take the half the scale so my 50 mm will become 25 mm so my side will be of 25 mm so i'll draw a pentagon which has a side of 25 mm straight line then again 6 72 degrees is what i seek on both sides so 
72 degrees comes here so I'll just and 72 degrees will come 70 this is 72 I'll take the scale what size I have to put is 2.5 so I keep it on 5 and I'll go up till 2.5 here again, I'll keep it at 5, go up till 2.5. I'll just take 2.5 degree on my compass, it's 2.5 and putting my end here, one arc here and one arc here now I will just join it and this way so I have my this point P in HP P Q R S and T P Q R S and T the next that I'll do is I'll extend the project the points P, Q, R, S, and T which are there on the pentagon up on the line X, Y. This both will be on one line. And obviously R and S will be on one line. So I get these points. 2, 3, this will be P dash, T dash, Q dash, R dash and S dash and this line will be my view, one of the view, this is my top view, this is my front view this is the initial condition that I have then moving on the first thing that I have to do is I have to make an angle of 30 degrees with respect to HP so this line has 0 degrees with respect to HP so what I'll do I'll pick it up keep it here and make an angle of 30 degrees with the same line and then extend the rays downwards and from here I'll extend here so I'll have what I'll have my front view and top view when it is just making an angle of 30 degrees with respect to HP it is 30 degrees with respect to HP so what I'm gonna do is I'll take this point and mark it as P1 dash thereafter I'll take an angle of 30 degrees this is the line I'll just extend the line thirty degrees now I will mark the points which are the two points first I'll mark QT this then I'll mark S and R so finally I have what I'll join the points the points which are there in my figure and again mark the points on them this is Q1 dash T1 dash, R1 dash, S1 dash, 
now let's extend the rays below exact rays below from this point from this point these lines should be exactly perpendicular to xy the next uh, thing is that I need to extend the project uh, lines x projector lines from these points first T I'll find out where is T T is here so I'll extend my projector lines up till this point T then S the S is here so I'll extend the line up till here then P then P is found here so I've drawn three lines from T, T I have drawn line till here because this is meeting T here then S S I have extended up till here because S is on this line P I have extended up till here because this is on P now the next that I have is R R is on this line so I will the line will be extended up till here and finally I have Q which will be there on this line so now I get the points this is what this is T1 this is S1 this is R1 this is Q1 this is P1 so what I need to do connect the points from P to Q first I'm sorry Q to R R to S S to T and then finally T to V so when and this angle is 30 degrees with respect to HP so this is my inter I'll call this intermediate top view and front view the next that I need to do is that uh, the side this side which is exactly opposite to P that was in HP now this side is making an angle of 45 degrees so what I'll do I'll draw a line of 45 degrees and I'll keep this side on that line and then draw the pentagon and then I will extend the lines upwards in this manner and from here I will extend the lines in this manner so what I'll have is I'll have my final pentagon which is uh, uh, at an angle of uh, 30 degrees with respect to HP and 45 degrees with respect to VP now let's see how we are going to draw this first of all I'll take this point from this point I'll take 45 degrees so let's start 0, 10, 20, 12, 40 so this is 45 oh sorry I have to take it in the other direction I'll take it in the other direction so I have more space 45 degrees from here we have to take it in the clockwise direction I have drawn this, it says 45 now I need to put this I need to pick this up and keep it here and then draw the rest of the pentagon how am I going to do that 
I'll take any point on this and I'll name it as say S2 it's not Samsung X2 it's just S2 then I'll measure this measure this that is RS and then cut an arc from S to R I measured this RS and I have cut an arc here so I have this as my base opposite to the point which is there on HP and this is what this is R2 now what I need to do is next is that I need to measure this distance this distance is 2.1 centimeter for it can be uh, more accurate in your book when you are drawing so I need to draw a line which is parallel to uh, I'll first draw a perpendicular bisector I'm drawing the perpendicular bisector so that I can have the other things entities easier for me now what I need to do is I need to mark this line which is at a distance say this is the distance between these two lines so I'll measure I had measured this distance as 2.1 so this is the distance 2.1 I'll just draw a line which is parallel from this parallel line I'll just measure ST which is same from S I'll cut an arc on this 